do talk about a double whammy. The average age of, the care, of a caregiver in the United States is 50. The majority of all caregivers are women. We also know that the average age of menopause is 51. This means that the majority of all in-home caregivers are also experiencing some phase of perimenopause while still working, raising a family, and having kids at home. This is the epitome of what we call the sandwich generation. There's a new study, which I found on PubMed, and it's called the Association of Informal Caregiving and Menopause Symptoms in Midlife. And what it aimed to do was to look at the impact of caregiving on the menopausal burden or the severity of symptoms a woman experienced as they were going through perimenopause. And they found that with every hour a woman spent caregiving, the severity of her symptoms went up. The summary is of this article is that Caregiving for 15 hours or more per week significantly increased the odds of having moderate to severe menopausal symptoms in at least one of the symptom domains compared to those who were not caregiving. So they were able to analyze this and show that there is an increased burden of menopause when you are a caregiver. I think we all could have said, duh, like we knew that. But the study is bringing this to light, which makes it even more important that we understand it. If you are a woman and you are caregiving and you are going through perimenopause, you need to be very careful. It is a vulnerable time and you wanna make sure that you are getting all the care and all the support you need. And if you're in the supporting community for therapists, social workers, doctors, communities, it's important to have an awareness that a woman that is in, comes into the office or into the clinic or joins your community and says they're really struggling and you recognize that they have both perimenopause at the same time that they're caregiving, that this is an extreme burden on their body and that they are likely statistically to be struggling in the severe category for menopause symptoms. I'm not a doctor, but in the last year, um, I've been a caregiver twice and going through the throes of perimenopause. And I can tell you that uh, the more intense the caregiving got, the more intense my perimenopause symptoms got. The more intense the caregiving got, the uh, more brain fog I had, the more confusion I had, the more joint aches and pains I had, the less I slept and the more depressed I became. It's important that we start to talk about this because if we can find these studies, do these studies, discuss these studies, that's where we start. We start by talking about it and we start by supporting each other and then that can lead to um, new ways of treating people. It can lead to new tools and solutions. This is why I'm building the Midlife Circle app because I believe that community matters and I believe that women in this stage of life need a place to belong. Um, but I'm just doing one small part and there's so much more that can be done. So I'm starting by sharing.